Hello, friends. Let's begin. Let's begin. We have the draft. Five seconds remaining. Suns fan here with Trent Pax. No new heroes, my friend. The dire get a bad Say it ain't days. so. Sad days. It can't be. Sad days. Nature's Prophet, banned. Uh, Faces Void, probably banned. Magnus, probably banned. Yeah, I think Omni Knight is a top tier pick in Captain's Draft. Uh, yes, Should it's be Kezu's favorite hero, I think, as of late. So I would be quite surprised to see it get through. Might see another Undying this game. Although, Jonas, if I'm not mistaken, also played some Omni in the past. And he's obviously just a very good hero, so even if he hasn't played it, he'll still play it. Oh, that's tempting. It's like, if, I think if you leave in the Veno, I feel like Final Tribe are just a bunch of Veno players. Look at these guys. All Veno players. Yeah, that's true. So, maybe you could, like, get rid of them. It. No, no, no. You leave in the Veno, so they pick the Veno, and you get the Omni Knight. Oh, it's mid I or feed. I see, I see. You think yeah. they first picked Venomancer? Yes. Okay. We'll see, I guess. Fearbreaker is also extremely strong. You know, I want to see some uh, heroes we Clock haven't seen in a work. while. How about some LC? Yeah, I don't know why she gets stitched so much. And uh, she'll probably get picked up against the... Uh, well, if the Omni Knight's gone, she'd be good against the Venom now, because you can dispel Gale. Ten seconds. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that change. All right, here it is. Venom, and then Omni, right. and... We'll see. Oh, they banned Clockwork. Omni and... Slardar or Omni and Spirit Breaker. Okay, okay. No, nope. damn it. <laughs> Incorrect. We got Marana. Close though, real close. Uh, when so I see close. Marana, the first hero I think of is Slark. Dude, You're not going right to first two pick Slark, other. but look, look, right there. They misclicked. Yeah, it was just a misclick, guys. <laughs> Obviously. LOL. Well, I do agree. Omni Knight will be picked for sure In by Mirror Feed. Yes. Zero question. 100%. First one. Now the question is, what do you go for next? You're going to need a support. You don't I like the Slardar. Position for Slardar? Is that a... Yes. Is that a Weeha hero? Hmm. I mean, it's either that or Spirit Breaker, but... Probably what Spirit they're discussing. Spirit Breaker. Because you want someone that can abuse the Purify. Mm. Purification. I guess Undying is kind of okay, but I just... I think I one way or the other, I'm not. It's not going to be first two for either team. Medusa will be picked this game. Oh, I hate this. Kunkka, okay. Get some rum action. I mean, this is a Cinderin hero, so I'm fine with that. He he played this yesterday. He he hit like every torrent. It was actually yeah, insane. It's eh, it's okay. No, every I just, torrent. I like the idea of the uh, very disruptive hero up front with the repel, as well as being able to use the the purification on top of them too, even when they're getting low. So there's like big turnaround potential, but at the same time. Cinderin can now set up for Kezu to just get in there down and dirty uh, himself. Down and dirty. To... Ooh. Mm -hmm. Gracious. Cinderin and Kezu just in the mud, you know? Some muddy water. All right, there's a Spirit Breaker. Okay. Medusa will be a last two pick for one of these teams. 100%, Trent. 100%. <laughs> that is Suns fan guarantee. It is. Um, I think Faceless Void Weeha looks pretty hero? good for Era this game. You know what Although, a Weeha hero is? Sorry not to interrupt, Trent. Okay. What's a Weeha hero? His favorite hero in the game is in this draft. Is it Death Prophet? No, it's no. Skyrath Mage. Yes, Skyrath Mage. Don't know if he likes it as support, but he has to. Okay, Bane. Bane oh, I didn't even... Spirit Breaker. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah that's pretty dirty. Uh, this is uh, some 7.07 Dota right here. Yep. Uh, So I think we'll still get... I think Faceless Void and uh, Death Prophet is how I'd round out the final tribe draft. Make it an offlane Marana. It's Captain's draft after all. That sounds pretty hype to me. But uh, certainly an era, maybe offlane Veno actually, and an era Faceless Void would be even better for final tribe. The dream. Why can't mid or feed take Venomancer? Okay, they picked the Dazzle, so... I have no idea. I guess maybe Kunkka is going to be played by, by Weeha this time. Yeah. Or maybe it's a mid Kunkka. Kunkka, you say? Yeah, it should end up being Weeha, I guess. Um, Jonas fans, some of his best 
games ever have been Axe and Legion Commander, but now with the Dazzle there and the Kunkka too, I think that's enough. And an Omni Knight. There's no way you want to try and commit to duels. So I definitely like him on the Venomancer instead, I think. But they have a lot of defensive capabilities too. Hmm. Take that. Position one Slardar for mid or feed? With all the minus armor from the Dazzle. Cobbles ah, up nicely. I like it. I think I Lushi like was playing it in officials. They've yeah. been running some position one Slardar. Although so, I think they lost that game. There is a Slark who is amazing this game. Owns Marana. Can mm -hmm. debuff everything from Bane and Spirit Breaker. Yep. Very strong Except hero this draft. Feeble. True. And Feeble is not dispellable. Got him, guys. But you can still steal stats, so you can theoretically mm -hmm. still get some damage. It's fine. Yeah, Slark is pretty strong. And Void's also decent for them, too, right? Comboing up with the boat. They're going to take him. All right. Uh, definitely like that. Void. I think Air would have played him. Air is a Slark gamer, isn't he? Speaking of Slark, though. Hmm. Or you go for the Medusa play here, because it's pretty decent against Chrono. You just, like, pop it. Seen that yep. a couple times. Medusa against three melee heroes. Uh, Looks like my prediction will come true, Trent. You think so? Yeah, I do. Uh, mid hero is still left for mid or feed, we assume, and that should be the death profit, I would think. I mean, DP faces void is a combo for a reason. Yep, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. You could also technically go Venomaster still. And Cancel could also just go back and play his OD again and maybe have a little bit of a better time. Yeah, you're not playing against Viper this time around. I think uh, certainly is set up better this time around. You could actually do... The mid Skywrath Mage as well. It's amazing with Void. Great against uh, like the Silence now straight against Marana and Bane. But looking at that lineup, I don't know. I don't know if this lineup can handle a mid Skywrath Mage, you know? They wouldn't abuse their Omni Knight very well. Yeah, Death Prophet is just so amazing for mid or feed this game. It makes me want to take it as the final tribe and work it into my draft that way. Maybe making an era Marana safe lane, go Mar uh Death Prophet in mid, and then give Yona mm -hmm. some fan the off lane Venno still. The old block pick is what you say? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think you do not want a repelled, shadow graved, dazzle fighting yeah. you. Uh, sorry, um, Death Prophet. That would be pretty dirty. Well, you could say the same for Medusa, I feel like, though, right? Medusa is super strong. Repelled, purified, graved. They take the OD. So OD great against Medusa, so I think we can say goodbye to that. Unless they just pick it for themselves. Still have 50 seconds in reserve time left. Here we haven't really talked about is Lone Druid. I'm not sure if they're looking for something like that. I feel oh, like yeah. they could I get away with a little LD. greed with this lineup. They could also, mm, no, actually, no. I was thinking they could try and squeeze a gyro in, but that's bitter feed, but I don't really like it. I'd rather they just stick with the DP. So, is there any way this isn't Venomancer? I don't know. This should just be Venomancer. Yeah, Venom will be very annoying. No Ooh. doubt about it. Okay, they Centaur off lane. Centaur. That was not expected. I guess because their mm. overall control is pretty weak, and so if you went Venomancer, you'd just be you know, lowering your control even more. You only have slows. Weak? Yeah, they only have charge. Ten seconds. Nightmare arrow, bro. That's a nah, guaranteed that's stun. Not a, that's not a real thing. Guaranteed. All right, you were right. It is DP, and this is a scary DP. Yeah. I agree completely. You even got a super tanky dude for like the percent and everything, too. Yeah. Oh. Well, we'll see if Kezu can get off his his GAs this game. He definitely had trouble uh, yesterday. I forget what heroes he was up against, but it wasn't a great Omni Knight game. So Max Spirit Siphon is 5.5% max HP as damage. 5.5% against the Centaur. That is a lot. Yep. It's a lot of HP points. Wow, look at that Omni Knight, dude. Holy... That looks nice. He is glowing up there. What is that this head is a piece? great cosmetic game. What it's the, the big piece? halo. 
Is that an immortal? I think. I don't, I don't have that one. Oh, wow. I think I have how a embarrassing. Hammer. Yeah, mid or feed, they they're, they're definitely have good cosmetic. Cancel, not so much. Although, do they have, yeah, they have one immortal, I think, for Death Prophet. Everybody else is shiny. Oh, look at Haxorn, though. Boo. Yeah. He is the, uh, who's the person that we know that deletes cosmetics? Is it Shane? No, it's not Shane. It was Brax. <laughs> Brax actually deletes his cosmetics. <laughs> uh, that's a gamer right there. It's serious business. He's probably deleted like $500 worth of stuff, <laughs> is my, what my guess would be. Who needs money? Who needs money? So, game one of this best of three is now underway of the first round of the lower bracket in Captain's Draft 4.0 for the EU Qualifier. Suns fan here with the great Trent Pax, formerly known as Mott Pax. You know, it's weird to think about your previous name. Yeah, a little bit. It feels really weird. Yeah. Why did you keep it for so long? Why did you have to make because me convince you? Because I was Mott Pax forever. I hated having to change just because I started this Dota thing and there was some guy named Mott. All right, for, let's say Mott is no longer a thing, okay? Would you want to have Mott Pax as your name or would you stick with Trent Pax? No, I'd rather just be Trent, but, you know, in terms of, like, online stuff. I mean, the only reason I even have the Pax is just so I can have a handle on Twitter. I'm not going to be one of those Trent.gg guys or something. Come on. You don't want to be a Trent TV like me? Yeah, I mean, all that shit's gone, dude. What? What's I'm gone? I'm too late. I'm autista. All the... Anything with Trent on Are they listening to like us? Gone. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. All chat Man, equals level so one that rush. Is, okay, let's talk about that for a second. Classic level one rushes. Tactic. I really miss, dude. I really miss level I one rushes. I don't hate them. I, really I know you do. They're so exciting. About this recently. Yeah, we had a long conversation. I blocked it out of my memory banks, though. Because I was so disgusted with you. Everything but level one Roche sucks. It just ruins the game one way or the other. The team either just gets Aegis. I, I mean, I agree. It wasn't as bad near the end when they were still being done because the bonus wasn't as much, but kind of shocking the way it used to be around how crazy it was. I think I saw one game with old Roche that got turned around. It was uh, the TI I've five seen plenty. qualifiers. Plenty of games. Plenty. Back in the day with the level one Roche where they just won? No. There plenty of games. Teams. Where they actually got the roast successfully, no one died, and they still lost. Plenty. Bullshit. He ate this tango very early. A little bit surprising here for, for Cancel as Cinderin again with his patented torrents that always hit. Somehow he has these hacks as I, I had the camera on it, technically speaking, guys. Technically, you saw that. <laughs> you saw his dead corpse. The old uh, nightmare arrow, it would appear. Yeah, I mean, that... Is this going to be another rough game for Kezu, you think? That's... You mean Tomato? Wait, is Tomato playing it? <laughs> no. Wait, who died? Kezu Tomato died. was up top. Wait, what? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. I was confused. I saw... I thought you said that he died. I thought they did a lane switch. No. All right. My bad. Cinder in his back bottom. Either. The torrent misses. That's a 50% torrent rate now. Already much worse than his last game, which was... If I had to go back, it'd probably be like 80%, I want to say. Cancel. Spirit Siphon comes out on Haxorin. This is one of those matchups that's not too bad for DP. Can push out the lanes a lot faster than OD once he gets some levels. So cancel. But, I, I don't uh, think he's going to get dumpstered this game. That's what I'm trying to say. Mid. Oh, Kezu. He's getting charged up. Nightmare's here, but they're just trying to be annoying. Yep. A little bit of right-click action through that Nightmare. Seems seems nice. Gives he a good like purification off. In a row. Yeah, they need a lot of bashes. They do have Orb of Venom. You know what? What? There was maybe a chase potential. I don't know. No. Uh, Nightmare's too that. long. You don't do that. Trent Pax, formerly known as Mottpax at Twitter.com. Hanskin, though, does have his charge available, so might be seeing some more pressure on cancel, much like last game. Dude, this Tomato's mesmerizing down here. He keeps spinning in circles without a immortal. Look at that. Whoa. I'm not watching. I'm trying to catch kills, friend. Thank you. Cosmetics are not important. Torrent will connect. Cancel. It's here with another Spirit Siphon, but here comes the the charge from Handscan. It will connect. Haxorin does have Astral to use if needed. Les Q. It looks like Kezu's actually TP'd in. Gets the purification off. I need something to do. X marks the spot. There's the Astral, though. And it'll completely counteract the Torrent. 
as now Cinder is back to a 50% accuracy level. Rough stuff. God Meanwhile, damn it, TrentPax at TrentPax.com. <laughs> damn, I did it again. I, I tried to figure it out. Who died mid? Nobody. I Who know. was tying about bottom with a mess? I apologize. Mesmerized, dude. He hypnotized him with this immortal. Kezu getting chased out by Very handskin again. Yes, it is. These, you know, cosmetics are definitely bad for the game. I retract everything I've ever said on any show. <laughs> they, they assist in, in letting me miss kills, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But look at the CS Tomato. He's doing pretty, pretty well for himself. Seven, seven, Seventeen and five right now is Kezu. We'll find Hanskin again. God, they are really just relentless here in the top lane. Because they know he's nothing to XP. do. If only there was an Iron Talon in the game. It feels like they need to make some sort of a play where they uh, go aggro or something with the Faces Void and give Omni bottom. Maybe you think they're they get just away waiting until Tomato's. I think they're going to wait till Tomato's six, and then he's going to TP up. They're going to try and get a kill with Chrono, and then okay. he'll stay in the top lane while Kezu farms bot. Oh, Cinder and taking heavy damage as a result. Oh, there's the X, though. Haste is there. I'm not sure if they can see it. Torrent will connect. Back above a 50% rain. Man, that is a lot of damage thanks to those illusions. Oh my Shadow God, Wave doing work here. Centaur's pretty damn low. They're not going to continue those. Hanskin comes in with the charge onto Weeha. Sinner's here with the haste, though, trying to get the body blocks off. A decent job. Looks like that'll break things up as Giannis and Fan will health self back up to a healthy amount. Oh, space for Kezu. That's true. Great for him. Level he two right now. I don't know if he can afford to get boots. He might have to get a soul ring. Well, we'll have to see. As oh, he's just being he's level actually getting two. chased here. Yeah, oh. he's. He's having a rough time. Gets the purification off only level one, though. But Cinder is here to play. The X Torrent is available. I think together they will not be able to kill Era. But perhaps we'll see for sure here shortly. Bottom lane, though. Weeha gets the poison touch off to model some reckless on a handscan. But Les QQ is here. It's three heroes now. Nightmare taking Faceless Void out of the fight for now. Torrent comes out, will miss, back to a 50% rate. Again, Hanskin, though, attempting to TP out, but the Shadow Wave is more than enough to finish him off. Tomato gets a time lock. He can. Oh, wow. He doesn't oh, have his time lock available, though. Better be careful here. As the honest man, very low. Brain Sap will connect on Tomato. They really want this kill onto Centaur. Will they get it? Yes, they finally will. Charge is coming through Tomato. He's going to health salve up and will be fine, actually. On the other side, doesn't look like the rest of this team is going to be fine. Last QQ is able to auto attack to his heart's content. We'll finish off Cinderin. He's going to take heavy damage as a result, though. We'll attempt to back off Weeha in the meantime. Getting chased down by Hanskin. We'll get bashed down to the grave. Tomato. Oh, a little Tomato, bit of misclick no. there. Looks like he wants to get a kill before he inevitably falls, but won't be able to do so. So trades left, right, and center. And that means Kezu can get level three in the top lane. Yeah, well. We talked about a rotation to the other lane, but uh, they went way too deep, and that just forces the Marauda down here to get some easy extra gold, and now they're going to have a poor Faces Void and a poor Omni Knight. Yeah, well, Cancel was at least able to do considerable damage to this Tier 1 mid, and there is a double damage top if he wants to bottle it. In also, fact, they might even get this, this kill on the, the tower. He gets Astraled up, but the Radiant will claim the tower. Dude, those catapults, man, they're just relentless. They actually are pretty ridiculous. There needs to be a strat, like... <laughs> A predetermined strat to buff them up, like with Alacrity and Bloodlust blood and all lust that stuff. And, uh, yeah, the Alacrity one is one of my favorites, actually. Yeah, we have a charge here, Weeha. bottom lane on the Weehaw, into an arrow. Will this be enough to actually take him out? Does not have Grave. Another bash for Hansen, getting these in timely fashion. Giannis and Fan is here. Of course, only level 4 right now, but there's the Moonlight Shadow. Chronosphere is going to reveal. Torrent will miss because of the Chronosphere. Oh, X marks. Oh, they mistimed it. Oh, they mistimed it really badly. And Hanskin will live as a result. Oh, that's truly unfortunate. <laughs> that is truly unfortunate. But it in the meantime... It's not unfortunate. It's, it's unmissable. <laughs> There's no way. That's not unfortunate. Hey, if they're, like, what? If they were in a team house, that wouldn't have missed. Okay? It's, it's the lag. It's got to be. Tomato. Are they actually going to see Hanskin here? He does have charge, though. We'll get it off. There's the time walk. He needs a bash. Arrow comes out, not going to connect. Weeha's here with the poison touch. They might find this kill eventually, or will they? Arrow's going to turn things around, though, onto Tomato. And instead of getting the easy Spirit Breaker kill, they will lose both Weeha 
and Tomato. That is really rough for Mitter Feed. God, Era is destroying this game. He's 42 and 26. He denied everything from that Omni Knight. And he's top of the net worth. He's got a kill in four assists. He well, might even get the Cinder. saving grace here for Mitter Feed is that Cancel is not having a bad game at all. He's keeping up there with with Era at the moment. Yeah. He's got a haste rune as well, so might be able to make a play on a tower with his ulti in 10 seconds, but he's out of mana. Oh, bottom lane. Yep. We've seen this before. We do have some TP support. Will it be enough, though? He has a time walk, but he's just stun locked the entire time. Cinderin gets charged. Here's the TP support. Kezu and company are here. They really need to get a kill, but the stampede is there. And if they can find this kill, I mean, it's not a great trade regardless. Torrent will connect just barely, so they will likely find Bane, but not a great trade. Or will they? Brainstab comes off. A couple of right clicks. Finally, they find them. Takes forever. A one for one carry for support. Whew. They're getting destroyed. I don't know if I call this destroyed. Every, they're down. every engagement is just like, what's happening? <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, they're I only down like 1k right now, right? Yeah, I agree. It could be a lot worse. It's not that bad, but it's not. Charge mid. Oh, Tomato. Tomato, Tomato, Tomato. In a lot of trouble. Arrow will connect the right. Oh, Tomato. Anywhere he goes, he just gets destroyed. TP is now canceled. But speaking of cancel, his exorcism is up and the tier one tower will likely fall here. But their tier one mid will take considerable damage as a result, as well as the top tier one. I hear a charge. They're actually not going to finish off that tier one bot. Charge on to cancel. He's going to get healed here pretty shortly thanks to the exorcism. Last QQ taking a lot of damage. You better be careful. Gets the brain sap off. There's the crypt swarm. Will it be enough? X into torrent. On skin Finally, they will well. finish him off as the spirit breaker did cancel the charge. It ends up going mid. He's yeah. very low. Yeah, he was being chased all through here by Dazzle and Omni Knight, but then he escapes the charge. Weeha with home. another deny. Nope. Yeah, he did get it. I just expect these things from Weeha. I know it sounds random for me to say, but I watched a lot of Weehaw games when he was on DC. He is the master denier. He really is. He takes pride in it. They can also deny bottom here. Yep. Just barely. And they will do so. So with that going down, it's going to bring the net worth lead back to about 500 only for final tribe. So despite what we feel like is just kind of a snowball effect, it looks like cancel is the top net worth after all this so well he hasn't can't be died. too upset they've given him they hey what the one tower kill mid they're repelling him these fights keeping him perfecto yeah top lane tomato he has chronosphere if he really wants to x is here into the torrent center's not level six yet it'll connect into a purification yonatan pretty tanky has hoof stomp and stampede will use both to successfully get away. In the meantime, Aaron and company are able to destroy this tier one bot. Yeah, they really didn't want to use Chrono on that, and I agree. I think they should try and save it for uh, at least two kills or a kill on the Marana. Those are the two big goals right now. And it's also the threat, right? They should be able to just take this tower now because you can't TP in here with Chrono being up. And this is all done without Exorcism. DP 10 seconds away. They could make a push with Cancel now too, where they want to threaten a tier two. But uh, Air is doing a great job down bottom. Yeah, starting to deal some damage to this tier two. Kezu, though, level seven here. Arrow not going to connect. Gives a little bit of vision for Hanskin to actually charge, though. Here he comes into a Fiend's Grip. Double TP action. Is this enough to take him out? Indeed it is. Cinderin is here. Doesn't get off. Oh, he actually did get off the X. That's pretty long range, have to say. Nightmare was there. Nice Astral to stop the X. Oh, that's that what happened. Okay. Oh, it just happened right now, but... Um, they, oh, they're they going to find the Spirit Breaker, though. He does have charge. X is here, though. And the boat will be used as well. Not even needed. Cancel level 10. Has a Kaya, by the way. Have yet to see this on a DP. Have yet to see a DP, really. I feel like. Other than at Dota Pit. But nobody picked up Kaya back then. No, this is pretty good. So, what? 54 Spirit Siphon. Nice. Reducing it by 6. Okay, cool. I'm in. So he went the 50 damage talent, by the way. Uh, the question is, at level 15, do you go the the extra damage on Spirit Siphon on top of all this? That sounds sounds pretty good. 5.5 to 
Yeah, the cast range is also good. Yeah, that's a higher call. I think a lot of it can depend on the game. Right now, with a center war runner and a spirit breaker, there's a lot of very high HP heroes, so I could see a lot of value for the one percent. Giannis, some fan at half HP right now. Here's a smoke from mid or feed. They might be able to find him here, but of course, Stampede see it is with up. The ward. Stampede is up. They need a silence. There it is. Here comes the poison touch, but he's right next to a shrine. Exorcism is popped. They really need to find this kill. Repel is there. And it looks like a TP was canceled, so... Yeah, they can't come in. They know the Tomato's nearby as well. So a fight into Chrono would just be bad for them. So they'll just split push instead. And, uh... Shrine, or, uh, rather, no Glyph available here for the Radiant. So Ares is gonna peck away and take this tower. Yep, another free tower for... For Final Tribe, as they have a Jeez. 2k lead right now. It'll go so back rich. to about 1k after this tower, though, if they're able, if they're able to actually take it. Cancel level 11 right now. Really looking for that second point in Exorcism. Era, though, he's just going to continue to apply a pressure. I don't blame him. Yeah, might as well. Unhealable damage happened right here. Now, who's that TPing in the trees? You'll never know. Yeah, it doesn't have the range, though. It does have level 4x. Oh, the arrow will miss. Nice juke. <laughs> nice juke. What? It is night vision, You don't though. expect some dude to be there. Yeah, yeah. it was nice. Jeez. Look at you just being all harsh here. Ah, you know me. I'm a You're harsh just trying to farm man. a range creep, and our boy Cinderin is just like, whoa, arrow in the middle of you know, nowhere, <laughs> night vision. Well, luckily for him, it is the cosmetic that is very bright. <laughs> it's the yes. bright arrow. <laughs> the old sperm arrow. Yeah. Now, the Giannis fan right now, he went Vanguard. Uh, is about 700 from finishing the blink. Vanguard this game... I mean, it, it's really just void. I don't, I don't see why you... Why, why would you pick up Vanguard? Lots of HP regen. Um, but yeah, well, it is a little weird. Instead. They don't really have that much magic damage. It's just a lot of pure damage. Yeah, just some awkward damage. Omni Knight, charge. Yeah, he's dead. All right, Tomato. He does have Time Walk available. We'll dodge the arrow. Thankfully, it too, was still there. bright. They're just chasing into a chrono as well, so they're all being a little bit worried. Yeah, I mean, with Exorcism down, that's going to be up pretty shortly, though. Oh, we have Moonlight Shadow. Handskin on the sidelines here. Oh, boy, Cinderin. Oh, he's going to get Fiends gripped into the Star Storm. Tomato's here with the chrono available. He's going to get bashed up, though. Can he get it off? Hoof Stomp is there. Double edge as well. He needs to time walk out, but no. He drops. The shark comes in. Hits two heroes. Very nicely done. Cancel. Still nightmared up. Gets the repel applied. It's a two for one. As Centaur. Oh, the X nice. just in time. And down he goes to Purification. So despite losing Tomato, which was a pretty close call, if he could just get off that time walk at the last moment, he definitely would have lived. Yeah. Either way, and we three for one. Uh, a bit too far for the grave, I'm pretty sure, because it was only level two. Uh, so he had to just use it on Cinderin. Speaking of Weeha, he's going to run right into Era here. Level 12, he leaps right into Cinder and gets the Star Storm off. Oh, the Repel comes drops. through, though. X into Torrent. Axerin, though, with the Astral Imprisonment. Cinderin, he's going to have to back off here. It looks like Shark's not up for 20 seconds. Marana attempting to get out of dodge, but that's not going to happen today. As that is a big kill Huge. for mid or feed. Very important that they get the silence off to stop any sort of leap plays there. And uh, Kezu, look where he is now. Only 800 gold, 800 gold behind Centaur, and he is a Midas. Yeah, he's doing much better now. And Centaur's not one of those heroes. Unless you're playing like a one position, he's not really going to farm that much anyway. Once he gets this blink, he's just going to run around trying to find kills. And the 90 GPM. A plus 75 purification AoE. Yeah, I, that's not that great. How does... Cool uh and prac in theory, but... How does Crimson Guard work against, like, the active ability work against Exorcism? It doesn't do anything. Doesn't right? do anything. I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, like, if you put it on a building, no. it blocks, like, 50 damage. damage. isn't reduced by damage block abilities. It even says in Exorcism. Okay. Well, I know it doesn't work on Vanguard. I, I didn't... I'm trying to wonder... Like, I'm wondering if Crimson Guard is considered a damage, like, a normal damage block, right? Yeah, it it's is. It's not percentage, but... Okay. Good to know. Haxorn right now has the four staff. We'll probably go for the Hurricane Pike next. Unless he wants to go for Midas, actually. That's, that's a possibility. We, we've seen that from time to time. As Blink Dagger finally now on the Centaur. 
So initiation possibility is there. Oh, this could be a big fight though. Mid or feed. Smoked I just need up. one good pick. And uh, Exism will be up in 12 seconds for the uh, tower. Yeah, it looks like Yules is next on the list for... I think I'm not gross. Are they not going to ult for this? Oh, okay. Sorry. Kansas didn't have a CD yet. But now look how fast they're doing it. Yeah, why not? Wow. I like it. Then with that early medallion. That's so huge if they're going to get this age without even wasting exorcism. Wow. 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 Now they can yeah. just go mid. It's Weave is easy. quite nice as well. It can tank this up pretty easily. And that's going to be a freebie as Tomato takes the Aegis. Probably a good call as Death Prophet is essentially a transformation hero. But that, that's one thing to keep in mind, though, if you are mid or feed. You do have these pretty long cooldowns that you rely on. Yep. So execution has to be up to tier one status. Otherwise, Final Tribe is going to be able to capitalize. They don't really have the greatest tower pushing for Final Tribe. Centaur, of course, is a beast if he gets heart, but long ways off from that. Hmm. I'm having a hard time judging who I think is going to win this game. It, it definitely feels like it's mostly oh, a kind of play right now. Arrow will not connect, but the Fiend's Grip is there. Grave just in time. Weave. Going to be used offensively. Kezu able to get off the Purification. Tomato trying to catch up with the Chrono Sphere. He technically has it here, but don't think he wants to use it on a lowly Centaur with the Vanguard that does nothing against these spells. I shouldn't say it does nothing. It does give him the HP, right? And you mentioned that. That's That's something. It's just weird to see. Yeah, I think it's just like he's dealing with a lot of pure damage what from the, the uh, Omni Knight. <laughs> so it's just, and then there's it's all this awkward ma uh, different types of magic. So he just went HP. And yeah, Cancel's really going to pop Exorcism. So this tier two tower is in a lot of trouble. Cinderin, he's top lane. Handskin on the sides here. They're going to take this real fast. Question is, do they continue? Looks like we're going to have some TPs bought. Posturing here for Kezu. To be in position to defend this. The funny thing is, I don't even know if they need an exorcism to take that tower. It takes it a lot faster, but now it's on cooldown. Don't won't have it for a fight. Yeah. Uh. Whoa, centaur. Hello. He's not expecting this. Centaur. All right. He gets silenced. He pops the shrine immediately. Cancel is just gonna TP out. Same with Weeha. Oh, hoof stomp is here though. Yeah, Weeha has to cancel. He gets hoof stomped, and it's gonna be his death. It's a little bit of misplay. I hear a sanity's eclipse used to take out the Aegis here for Tomato who's going to be surrounded here if he's not careful. He does have Chronosphere if he really wants to use it defensively. Arrow will connect, though. That's rough. Boat coming Very in nice. a little bit too late. No buff for oh, you. The and chain feed. Yeah, the chain feed begins for mid or feed as Cinderin looks to be next on the list. Yeah. He's just quite dead. Uh. Yeah. Please. <laughs> 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 You guys are going to get used to that in about a week. <laughs> Jesus. Cancel right now. So he has the Veil. He has a lot of damage amplification now. Kaya Veil and Defensive Yules. We'll be going BKB. Really good BKB game. OD is essentially a worthless hero against that. Do you think it would be too OP if OD had a talent that uh, allowed him to pierce spell immunity? I With did... his Arcane Orb? Didn't he used to? No, never mind. I don't I think of the uh, the Roche thing. Venge. Oh, yeah, and the Roche thing too. Um. Uh, would that be OP? I don't know. It's like a level twenty-five talent, right? So it's like a, it's one of those hard to achieve ones anyway. It would probably be OP because he, you know, you have to have some count uh, counters. Yeah. Evasion is your counter. He's not going to get MK. Well, he could. He gets MKB now. It's a good item on the hero. Yeah. It's unfortunate. You got some good buffs lately. Well, then you just got to halberd him. Easy. Yeah, there you go. It's a good solution. Very reliant on his right click. All right. Well, the cast range was taken. There for cancel. Yeah. Got the Yules. I mean, you're always going to have Yules for the most part, but it's very good with that item. Look at that range on Yules. Whew. It's up there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Now so, that you get Kaya, you don't really have... Do, 
did they used to get aether lens yeah uh, for DP? a while but not recently yeah Back when definitely not getting it anymore no uh this game i i think i believe more in the radiant to win simply because i think faces void and death prophet are a very good combo i think faces void is a hero that can just win games whoa he just knows he knows Jonas is there because his smoke popped so they might find him yep send all and getting the x before the blink oh the blink stampede is too good quick fingers there from Giannis and fan and that's going to create some space for air again to just attack these towers fortification is is forced here I have more faith in the three here, like cores on the radiant than I have in the uh, three cores on the dire. I definitely faith the Marana. The hero is ownage right now, but I I feel like it's more likely that. But you don't think that sixty percent win rate on Centaur is real? I, I'm not convinced. Me neither. I'm glad we're on the same page. Tier two tower taken out at top, and cancel this time. Not using the exorcism to take out this uncontested tier two, but. Their lanes are pushed up, so they're going to... I mean, they could try to force this, I suppose, but they do push a lot faster. And we'll see if they can do it. And this tier 2 mid will be taken out as well. Giannis and Pan is able to TP out. Exorcism pops, so they're going to try for this. QQ. All right. We got the nice defensive Yules blocking all that damage from the Hurricane Pike. And he's back into the base again. Yules. That's really nice, actually. Not up for another 15 seconds. Man, Hurricane Pike is so good. He can just do it again right now. Hand skin. Oh, he gets silenced mid animation. So this tier three tower. Meantime, the other tier three tower. Air is actually pushing a little bit faster, believe it or not. They're going to trade tier three for tier three. Cancel now. Attempting to get out. Purification's there. Era might have to back here. Not sure if he can completely commit here. X is there. Into the torn. Into the triple TP. Looks like something was canceled, though. Air attempting to get out. Yules is there, though. Looks like Weeha's. TP was canceled, but it's going to be a, a oh, nice trade here. So it's a carry for support, tier 3 for tier 3. A little bit of damage to this melee, but it will regen. I don't know who who prefers that trade. Dire, I think. Uh, but they have to get something done while Exorcism is down. And they're not going to know that he has a fresh BKB, which could throw them off a bit here. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Very nice play by air. Man, Marana is just so insane right now. Yeah, too good. Too good. Who would have thought a hero that was a top tier pick got changed to have three leaps instead of one? Thought that was a nerf when I first saw it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> how, how odd. It's it not very often. Like in the history of Dota, you don't really see that very often with a hero that's already picked a lot get buffed, I would say. Yeah, I'm not sure. She must have had something that. Got well, nerfed, the right? leap doesn't work for uh, allies, but who right, cares? But that wasn't her big deal. Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's funny because the talents were rearranged as well. So the the hundred yes. attacks, the hundred attack speed leap was a twenty five talent. Of course, it did work on allies, like I said. And no one got it. No one picked it. Of the, the arrows. Yeah. So now you can get that at fifteen, which is ridiculous. Yeah, much more impactful in the game. And you get a mana break at twenty. That's oh, that's so sick. Oh, yeah, and it stacks with Diffusal like, just like the All Weaver of her talents there. are amazing. Like, the level 10 yeah, it's talents, funny whatever. How most heroes that we talk about being Onage are, mo like, it's a lot of talent based stuff. Anyway, Arrow mid. Oh, boy. Does have buyback. 6k lead here for Final Tribe. This cancel will be working on a Shiva's, but he's very far away from it. And an Octarine at the same time. So Giannis and Fan did upgrade to a Crimson, by the way, and looks to be going for Ags next. OD in the meantime has the Blink Hurricane Pike, so can now try to go for a little bit defensive item in BKB. In fact, he could just buy it right now if he wanted. So All any right. items coming up here for either team that you think are kind of a big deal? Like we got we got Void with the Lincolns, wants to go Shadow Blade, so going for more of the initiation instead of the right click Void that we're used to seeing from Tomato. Yeah, this is like the middle ground, I suppose, right? You don't get the Mask of Madness, but you get the Lincolns into the Shadow Blade, so you can kind of do both, but 
Uh, hmm. He's also still not even level 15. Jeez. He's behind. Yeah, he's definitely behind right now. I mean, look at his he's, net worth. He's wow. middle of the pack. He's not even the position one. He's position yeah. three. The DP is Did your he? carry. Wait, what happened? Did he attack? I think it was mid time walk. He missed the smoke. Oh. That or he he dodged the smoke with time walk. I, I don't know. I don't. I didn't think that was possible. So I'm a little confused. Maybe he attacked a creep. Well, smoke's broken up here, and final tribe is aware, so they will dodge it most likely successfully here. Yeah, Era able to TP out tomorrow. Oof, that was pretty close. Their shrines will continue to survive for now. You know what I think is going to happen with Marana, by the way? I think they're going to get rid of her Ags at some point. Yeah. And they'll just change it to something else entirely. What would it be? Arrow God, charges. Pew, pew, well, pew, pew. So that, that's the thing, right? Like, she's so good right now that you kind of want her to have a bad Ags that nobody picks up. Because otherwise, I don't know. Like, I feel like a lot of these talents could be Ags, right? That she has, All like right. the 25 Moonlight shadow eggs, mana break. You cast spells and attack and you stay invisible. Lol. What do you think? Everyone in your team gets that. It'd That's be like pretty... The talent. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. <laughs> Buy some detection. <laughs> no. I don't know, dude. In pubs, that sounds like the best pickup ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. the longer this game's going, the final tribe's lead is slowly growing. They're just dodging really well, right? They're not uh, they're not fighting into a chrono. They're giving Tomato nothing. So yeah. he doesn't have farming items. He has, like, let's fight them items. So they're kind of forced to wait for Aegis, which is back up with the cheese. And this will be the last big real hurrah for mid or feed. They need to take a Rax with this to kind of keep themselves in the game. I think if they don't get at least one Rax, even one Rax, they don't win. They need, like, two Rax to have a really good shot of winning. And they need one Rax just so they don't lose uh, at, like, 38 minutes. Yeah. I mean, do you think the build from Tomato is ideal uh, in the fact that now you're even more reliant on Chronosphere, right? Because he's become the quote-unquote initiator. I think uh, it's just tough right because uh, DP relies on the Chrono to, to do really well during the fight, so maybe he felt forced into it because of his teammates. But, uh, you know, you want that Mask of Mana so you can farm up in between fights, but you go for this build so that you can fight with Chronosphere and it's going to be good every single time. He doesn't want to mm -hmm. get Astral, so he needs the Lincoln Sphere. It's all these awkward things. So, uh, you know, the build has its downsides and you're seeing them right here. It's just being very uh, well played around here by Final Tribe. Yeah, and I, I'm actually a little bit surprised considering the build he's going that Kezu doesn't go more like Radiance or right click himself. Ends up going just the typical items that you'll see on an Omni Knight. Yeah, even a little higher in the mobility than most, I would say. I think it's pretty rare to see Blink Aether and Four Staff. I feel like most people stop at the Blink Aether and then they go back for something else. So he's just uh, extremely dedicated to making sure Cancel uh, is going to stay alive. And remember, Cancel still has a 10 second BKB. He hasn't even popped, so they're yeah. really well set for this big Roche. They just they got to get it done, you know? They can't screw it up. They, uh, they got to get the racks. Age is confirmed, cheese confirmed. Now let's go get a couple sets of racks and I mean they don't the even game. they don't really have a good Aegis carrier at all this game. Because Tomato's not I mean, once he gets butterfly maybe, but right now he's he doesn't hit very hard. He does have the well, hundred he, he time the lock damage now, so that's true. But look where Air is. Like he's so dangerous this game. And they don't have good catch. Yeah, this has gotta be so no annoying. Chrono. Oh, we have a TP, and this is where Coming we're going to see... Oh, Chronosphere was almost popped there. Exorcism is available. No, it's actually not available for 40 seconds, so they're just doing a little little damage here to the Tier 3. Oh, look where Air is. Yeah. Doing oh. some unhealable damage to this range Rax. And we have a double Siege unit. This is the real, the real problem here in the top lane. Yeah. Yeah, here comes the Sharks. Doesn't do any damage, but will stun them temporarily. Who will win, Cinderin or these sieges? I got the pop fortification. That's definitely not what oh you God. want. There's a charge as well coming, but cancel and company with Weeha here coming. Apparently, yeah, Chrono's here finally. This time on Marana. There's the silence, and there is the death. Just barely get him on the outskirts. There's Tomato, able to clean him up. That is a kill much needed for him. 
He actually has a nullifier also queued up in addition to the butterfly. Very ambitious for how this game is going to be going. Era actually has no buyback, too. And exorcism is up. All timer is still pretty low. But I I would definitely think he'd buy back if I'm on the Radiant. Because I'd be like, yeah. yeah, yeah, that guy's been in our base. Like, right. he's rich. Well, the Nightmare comes out. Not going to do a whole lot since the Exorcism is still going. But Dazzle's in a lot of trouble. Fiend's Grip oh, nice applied to cancel. But it gets canceled by Tomato's right click. They're kind of scattered here. The fight kind of breaking up. Kezu gets graved. Has Purification available. Needs to get four staff to cross, but will finally die to the OD. In the meantime, we have the double edge applied to Death Prophet. He's getting charged right now. BKB finally popped. Look at this Spirit Siphon doing so much work, and this Rax looks to be dead. A much needed Rax here for mid or feet as the buyback comes out from Kezu. The Crimson Guard not going to do enough. The nice double stomp, though, from Centaur. Giannis Siphon into a Sandy's Eclipse. The Nightmare dodges the damage, actually, on to cancel, but he is completely surrounded. Gets the Silence and gets the TP oh, successfully. Ooh. They have no items. <laughs> wow. No bash. Oh my god. That's brutal. That's, that's right, pretty well, painful. You just technically, mid or feed lost the the net worth in that, but they get the racks. Yeah. Okay. So mission accomplished. But uh, still, again, they do not win. They just had to get that to not lose. I think. Mm -hmm. So. We'll see. This should put a dent into the net worth gains of the Dire, just because you're reducing those creeps coming through. It's only the melee racks as well, which obviously is the good one, but... It is the still. good one. It's the real good one. Real good. Real well, nice. Cancel with that. He finishes the Shivas. He doesn't have buyback, but I think it's probably the, the right Mato's about to YOLO right now, because he only has like 40 seconds left on the Sages. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's just standing out there. He's like, fight me. And Witness. he still doesn't have much farm, even after that fight. I think he... He did get a very timely bash on the Bane, though. Much needed. And they're all moving under a ward right now as well. So Jonas should be okay. Chronosphere is available. Do you ever not go 500 time walk cast range? I was thinking about that the other day. I don't think so. I think it's... It's too it's, good. It's amazing, right? Oh, Haxor, and there's the Chronosphere. Purification's going to be here as well. Arrow coming in. Will connect... Or will it not, actually? As the Shivas oh, the is popped, repelled. Nightmare's there defensively. There's the Astral. Tomato. Oh, he actually gets the Curry. That's almost a full Ags on there. And that's going to be a freebie on the Haxon at the end of the day. Was that Centaur Ags? Yes. It must be. All right. Looks Does like, your Curry uh, button eight. still work? I don't have it bound. Ah, <sighs> damn it. I had it bound, and now it's just gone. I hate it. Ow. We knew We know what was on it, friend. It's all good. I know, but still. Who did you say had BKB activated? Uh, he had, he was repelled. The face oh, the repelled. Okay, okay. Up. Yeah, it's hard to see in the chrono. Okay. Oh, yeah. You couldn't tell Makes sense. It's hard to see just past his damn hammer, dude. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh-oh. Cancel. He gets netherstruck into an arrow into Fiend's Grip. But there's the repel and the GA it popped as well. See if this and is enough to keep BKB. him alive. Indeed, it is. A double silence now. They're going to attempt to chase. Spirit Breaker. No charge for five seconds. Looks to be his death. So a good turn around there. Did cost the GA, though. 150 seconds. Error, though. He's mid. Jonas is top. Doing a great job. And now yeah, he's keeping the these lanes pushed nicely. Break. Oh, God, yeah. I'm excited to watch him actually hit someone. Like, look at his illusions right now, even. They're burning some of this mana. That's pretty dirty. Well, Giannis and Fan has to wait a little bit longer for that, that courier. We can't see the timer, right? Without having the courier oh, yeah, down. I know. It's unfortunate. Should be up in about a minute or so, though. As we're going to have a TP by Kezu here mid. Again, no ult for 100 seconds. Cancel, though. Can they Top actually kill. get this? Ooh. There's the hoof stomp. Into the right clicks, into the arrow. Can they layer it? And they can. Oh, nice. Centaur ult use as well. Does have buyback. Didn't have exorcism. Oh, he did have exorcism, but obviously doesn't want to pop it there. Now Shiva's on the other side. Haxorin. Yeah, that's really scary, see. though. Yeah, Haxorin's starting to get pretty farmed now. I mean, the, the I feel like the problem right now is just the the item discrepancy. Like, Tomato just hasn't really progressed at all. Ends up no. going the Silver Edge, so... 
Not going Enough for butterfly. Not centaur, I suppose, but... That it. Yeah, that is strange. Does it disable the mana break talent? I, I assume it talents. doesn't do anything to talents, right? Right. They are a separate entity. Yeah, why would you go silver? Is it really that big of a deal for centaur? Ah! Uh, really. No. Well, we'll see here, I, I guess. He gets hoofed stomped. effective items. Oh, there's the break. Into the X torn. He pops the Crimson Guard. There's no TPs coming. But, again, way too tanky. I don't know. This Silver Edge doesn't really make sense to me. I mean, it it gives you better stats, obviously, and Slightly I better believe cool the down. cooldown is better. It's like yeah. four seconds, but yeah, not, not a to. huge benefit. Yeah. It is, It'll uh, stop uh, empowering. Hey, uh, it'll stop the bash, right? It's a bit more int, too, which is kind of nice. Is the uh, the ultimate orb, VOD. Well, it's it's a 4K lead here for Final Tribe, so this game has kind of flip flopped a bit. Yeah, we're that's talking the about there's a bit of, of a timer. And, yeah, now that they have a Rax, they can. I wouldn't say they have breathing room because they still need to do something, but they're in better position than they were before for sure. It's all about these chronospheres. I gotta find a, a high value kill with them. It's gonna come down to that X Rax too, right? With the the Roche Fresher. That's true. DP double LT. Exorcism, double double uh, GA or double Chrono. Or double Sandley's double Stampede. A couple different nice options there for the Dire as well. I think double Stampede is definitely the way to go when you have Ags already. Yeah, it's, I would you're agree. unkillable. Everyone's unkillable. Unless I don't know, it kind of depends though. The more, I don't know, you might be able to just wipe their entire team. If their BKBs are down, like, OD might just destroy you all. Double sand lease. Yeah, it depends how aggressive you want to be, I Radiant guess. Radiant have scanned. They know there's a couple heroes here. So they're trying to back up cancel out. Oh, but so do the Dire. Everyone knows everyone's faking <laughs> out here. <laughs> Shiva's his pop. You know, fan able to TP out, though. So, yeah, if I had to guess, I think these team fights are going to start swinging mainly because of this stampede, the Ags. Anybody you chrono, you will not kill now. You absolutely will not kill. Unless you chrono the centaur himself, which is not really what you want. You can't kill him, so you got to centaur plus one. Yeah, you got to have He's two. He's going to play like a silencer probably in these fights too. He'll just be completely spread from his teammates. It has to be a big counter initiation play where uh, they think they're going to be able to blow up cancel or something. Jonas jumps in with era, and then you chrono both, and then you can kill era. That's like yeah. the only hope. Uh, and then you still have to watch out for things like the Astral Imprisonment from the OD, just Bane going for the Quick and Feeble into Nightmare or Fiend's Grift to get through your Lincoln Sphere. But uh, Roach is about to respawn here. 30 seconds away. And Hera. Ansel finds an Arcane. Huge. Oh, that's nice. Oh, someone get in that pit. They saw Go him pick it up, I'm pretty sure, as well. Tomato. Chrono's uh, available. Bane. They see him, though. Looks like the Bane will be the sacrifice here for Final Tribe. Everybody else able to get out. And again, the split pushing continues. Centaur in the opposite lane now has a Reaver, by the way. Went the 20 strength talent. And the 75 damage. Okay. I like that. He's not really double-edging anyone. He can already clear waves. Actually, he didn't clear that one, so maybe he And he, he popped Stampede. <laughs> not the longest cooldown, of course. Well, that's a Roche time if I've ever seen it. Like, Stampede, down, Bane, dead, Arcane Rune. Let's oh, go. Hanskin sees Cancel here. They're going to get off the Nether Strike. The Repel is there just in time to dodge the arrow. And now we have Shiva's Hanskin attempting to get out. But that Shark will follow him to the grave. And this is a probably a free Roche. They can't fight. Arrow's going to split the top. And uh, Jonas is going bottom. They know. 500 health talent at 20. Okay. What does he get for 25? I... Who's this now? The the DP cancel. I, I We've talked about this exorcism grants haste. I have a hard time believing this is good, but people are saying it's good, so I don't know. It sounds awful. I mean, she's already super fast. Like, So you gain 100 move speed while you're... That's what the talent is, while you're ulting only. Yeah. Meh. Centaur. He's initiated on here. Does have stampede. We'll use it. Does not have... Oh, he does have Boots of Travel. Actually, he's super farmed. Holy crap. Look at him go. Jesus. And he's out. But, yeah, Cancel does have the Refresher Shard, so... 
keep that in mind as who has the cheese now? Uh, Void still has it, right? Yeah, Void yeah. has cheese and Chrono. Or <laughs> cheese and Aegis. Oh, and uh, yeah, Kezu has the other cheese. Oh they, oh, they have two cheeses. Wow. Yeah, he never used the first one. I mean, those need to rot eventually. Like, cheese, that's not realistic. Cheese goes bad eventually. Yeah, we've been through this. It's not fair because then it punishes the refrigerate heroes. <laughs> That's not that wouldn't be fair. If you want realism, then yeah. realistically AAs can't rot. True. Exploded. Cinder. Cinderin. We never really went through it, but it is surprising to me that it is Cinderin playing the Kanka, you know? Is Isn't it? that strange? I mean, well, I know we talked about how he was owning and everything, but oh, just right, Weehaw, right, right. like we were yeah. watching for this this movement and uh to see him playing five now what feels like twice today. Not what I would have expected from right, him. He I has think he's boots of travel, job. by the way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but he's still the lowest person on his team. Yeah. Yeah, it is, that is definitely funny. strange. There are, like, no support players that would buy boots of travel, you know? <laughs> like, you're never going to see a fly dazzle with boots of travel. Yeah, no doubt. It's kind of interesting how his mind's a little bit different from all of his core play. But it makes sense in this game. He's doing a, a good job of countering the split push. And Tomato, he again very ambitious with his items coming up here. Does have the Diffusal Blade now, so his damage is not pitiful any longer. He did go for the cast range, by the way. And yeah, the Exorcism Spirits was chosen for cancel. So now we can start talking about level 25s here coming up shortly. Oh, your favorite part of the game. I know, it's great. Gives us always something to talk about. The gain aura, the return aura, not a surprise. It's easily better than the other one. Garbage yeah. hoof stomp. Uh, did Marana hit 25 yet? No. So that's actually a little bit surprising. Era hasn't hit 25. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. Considering how much he's been split pushing and how well his game was going. Um, I guess he slowed down a bit, but still. He also oh, got blown up in a couple of these past uh, engagements. He wasn't been a part of them. Odie's 25 hasn't oh, leveled up anything yet. yet. He's mm. asking his team what's better. I think I agree with you that the 60 second arcane orb insteal is probably better. Yeah. Probably. I've been converted. I don't know. I, I heard spell lifesteal and I thought, wow, that's really good. But then the more I think about OD, it just doesn't feel as good. Yeah. Plus it's 15%. Like think of Quop and how good hers is, but now yeah. it's down to 30 and it's a level 20 talent. So, so if you think about this is, this is a pretty bad talent, the 15% spell lifesteal. I mean, he can he can cast things a little bit more consistently than Co-op, I guess, but I don't know. We are oh, getting charged, though. He has the gem. He needs to pass this gem off. We might have a fight here, actually. Oh, the creep is oh, taken nice. out by Giannis and Fan. This is pretty big. BKB popped in time from Death Prophet. There's a Chronosphere onto two heroes. Bane is taking some right clicks thanks to that Diffusal Blade combination. His Handskin attempting to get out of dodge now, but we're going to watch Cancel try to go after Giannis Fan. They have no vision, though. Oh my god, that charge speed. Look at this guy go. Holy shit. Yeah, he's gone. He's going top lane. They get the, the range racks, actually, as Kezu is forced to be out there. Giannis a fan. He's showing himself here. Weeha. <laughs> Weeha's not scared, that's for sure. X is here. Into the torrent. Into the break and the right click. So you can right click dude, look safely, Weeha. poison touch. You're, yeah, you're we're going to watch this dude. top lane in the meantime as there's going to be some action here as Kezu. Attempting to take out Era. This is a huge kill if they can get it. But there's the Manta taking off the Silence. Another Spirit Siphon coming into play. Era attempting to TP out. Is he going to make it? It's going to be close. He does. Oh, that's like 50 HP. That is Back ridiculous at this stage of the game. Bottom lane. Dazzle able to grave himself. The Centaur did finally die eventually. And Tomato with that Lincolns. The BKB oh, activated by OD. And that has to be a kill. That's the Aegis though. Cinderin. X. He wants to get an easy kill here. Onto the Spirit Breaker. He's going to take the Sandy's Eclipse instead. Will drop to the deck. Kezu's here with the Repel Purification combination. Hacks in a lot of trouble. He's going to have to Astral himself. As you're seeing the Spirit here, Vessel too. coming to play now from Hansky. He's getting a decent amount of HP in here with the Blade Mail now. Tomato. We have a buyback now. Onto Cinderin as Marana continuing to get Spirit Siphoned out. Remember, the Refresher Shard is available as Hansky is going to sacrifice his life. The Purification is the one that takes him out. And whoa, what is that whoa, range on Poison whoa, Touch, dude? <laughs> Did they make it global? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> he went for the it's 50 move four, speed talent, by the way. Plus Jesus. he is an Aether Lens. Plus he is 125 cast rate. All Holy right, cancel. <laughs> cancel has double ult. 
Exorcism is here. Still has Refresher. Buyback is available on Spirit Breaker, so technically this is a 5v5. Remember, Dazzle at half HP, no mana. As well. It's not just the Exorcism. Yeah, that's true. And Yules and Shiva's everything. All right, Hoofstomp not going to be there. Mid lane, looks like Era is going to probably get this Rax. We're going to watch this fight instead. Death Prophet, there's the Repel. Kezu has GA available as well. Boat's going to come in, deal a lot of damage to the Spirit Breakers. Centaur jumps in, trying to take out Weehaw, who started this fight very low HP. Stampede is used, but it's used offensively. Chronosphere now onto two heroes. That's OD with the BKB. Does he have enough damage to actually take him out? Nobody has died somehow. Not sure if that Midrax went down, but OD looks like he will no. finally drop. Mid are as still As this there. Rax is down in the bottom lane. OD does have his buyback available. You're right, the Rax is still standing in the mid lane. That's very surprising. Buyback on the OD now as Cancel gets off that second exorcism. Shiva's is available as well. Looks like Cinder might be in some trouble here. Oh, Yonasan really wants to get that kill. Gets a nice torn off, but it will finally fall. It's a three for nothing with the buybacks coming into play. And Cancel with that Spirit Vessel applied will not live any longer. But that's two racks in favor of mid or feed. They do have some great counters. When he's not magic immune, like. So that, that mana break is destroying him from era. He's losing yeah. it so quickly. And the Spirit Vessel, as you said, is very good against DP when uh, she doesn't have those protections in place. And this uh, did cost a lot of buybacks, though. The arrows are here for Marana. All right. Triple arrows in tow. Kanka is dead for 60. the only hero in the game with buyback. Who? Marana. Okay. There's no radiant buybacks. Chronosphere is not up for 40 seconds. They're going to break Centaur here. I, I really don't think you want to fight this. He does have Repel, though. Yeah, he still has Stampede to work with. Here comes the Sheep. BKB onto Haxorin. Attempting oh to take God. out Kezu. Doesn't have GA. Purification is there. They're putting themselves in actually horrible position, but there's a Stampede used. 50% damage mitigation. Handskin silenced up. Might be able to be brought down here. Nightmare used defensively, but with the defusal there, finally able to take him out. So... They do get a kill on a hero that cannot buy back, and they should know that. Oh, Les Q. Oh, they're going to find him. A couple right clicks. He does have Nightmare available. Into Fiend's Grip is going to have to use it with a right click of Era. Do they have enough to take him out? Looks like they will not. As the Grave is here, along with the Repel, they can't heal him, though. But he time walks out to get a little bit of HP. And this is going to continue on as Era. Oh, they've oh passed over the cheese. Beautifully done. Probably save his life as Cancel is forced to use Exorcism. I don't know about this. If they can catch somebody, maybe. But I don't know if they will be able to. Everyone has bots. Cinder in his boots now. Uh, he's traveling all over the place. This is insane. Tomato. He has Chronosphere. Barely catches him. And he's going to take out Era. Does have buyback like you talked about. The only one with buyback and that's in this game. Earn it for Tomato as well. Now he has buyback with the kill. All right. There you go. <sighs> the problem, though, is Exorcism is going to go down here shortly. No Chronosphere. How do they take these buildings I up mean, top? I think they just go in, right? They have an Omni Knight. They dire heroes. They're all dead. It's pretty risky. Top lane, no Cinderin. Gets off the X. Yeah, Cancel's going to TP in along with Weehaw. They really want to get this Centaur kill. I believe he bought back in the last fight. I could be wrong. We'll double check that. Yeah, he bought back a while ago. Either way, the Ghost Scepter. That's a surprising pickup by Jonas and fan. But this, yeah, he's going he's gonna to drop eventually. So 120 seconds on the deck with only 50 seconds left for Exorcism. They could definitely do this. They need to get mana, though. Tomato with a minute on his chrono. I don't know, man. This could be this could be Mega Creeps pretty shortly. Yeah. What about Roche, though? That's another question. It's actually going to respawn. It's a little bit on the later end. Uh, and that could be the next goal for the Radiant. Yeah. I've already seen the power of the uh, Refresher Shared. Man, this is only game one. Oh. <laughs> Captain's Draft. That's good stuff. Yeah, very nice. And Tomato really wanting to hit 25. Wants that 25% backtrack, I assume, is what he's going to take. Very strong. Three-second extra repel duration, by the way. I've seen this both ways now for, for Kezu. Mm -hmm. Definitely the right choice this game with the ridiculous 100%. damage coming from OD. And here comes the Exorcism. All right, backtrack some damage. So they're going to have four heroes has for Final e Tribe. for the OD, too. So if his BKB goes down, he's in trouble. X marks the spot. Going to bring him back with the torrent. Hanskin jumps in with that blade mail. Tomato jumps in as well. Has Chronosphere available, but gets banished. The Astral ends up dodging the arrow as a result. He could, but he gets sheeped right away. But there's the repel again. Not going to be able to do a whole lot. Is this mid-rax, or this top-rax is nice down. GA. Chronosphere onto two heroes. Odie is in the air. 
and Will Fault. The Nightmare is going to keep him alive a little bit longer, but not long enough. 120 seconds on the deck. Hansane looks to be next. Pops the Blade Mail, but that's not going to save you with the BKB now on Cancel. Getting Silences up, and it looks like Mid or Feet are able to take Game 1 for themselves in all likelihood, unless there's some miracle here for Final Tribe as the Mega Creeps come out officially, and I feel like they can probably just continue to push this right now. No point in waiting. Five-man five GA without an Agnum Scepter. It's pretty hard to achieve. The range is not that big. That was pretty hype. Tomato. Everyone just invulnerable. Yeah, you don't really have any dispels anymore, right? I mean, you do, technically, with Nullify and whatnot, but much harder to achieve. Can't just get a casual defusal. And if OD can't, like... Yeah, just, it's not oh, Stomp comes in. Tomato jumps in as well. Arrows will connect on a couple heroes. But I'm not sure this is going to be enough for Final Tribe as mid or feed have Mega Creeps on their way to the base. And still two heroes dead for a considerable amount of time, especially OD for 70 seconds. Tomato, Hoof Stomp, nice double Hoof Stomp here. Stampede is available as well. They want to use it. Looks like Fiend's Grip was canceled pretty much right away onto cancel. No pun intended. He's going to hop at the BKB. Attempting to TP out. The Grave is there. Can they stun him? No. Nothing go through BKB there as a the Fiend's Grip is down. Arrow splitting the uprights. And it looks like Mid or Feed wants to get out of dodge here. As there's the Blink Dagger. Centaur comes in though. Where did he go? I heard him puff stomp. Uh, nope. He just guessed. Guessed wrong. He had a 50 50, basically. <laughs> oh, they got the Courier though. No? Okay. No All items. Right. All right. I mean, technically speaking, Ooh. Final Tribe can still win this game. That's the scary part for mid or feed. Mm, yep, true. Meg Creeps are on the Tier 4, though. And this might be the death of it. Yep. Yeah, that is and a lot of damage. Yeah, they hurt. Now, it's all about buyback game here for and Roche. Radiant. And Roche, that's true. Uh, as far as buybacks, DP not for another two minutes. Same for Kezu. I mean, they and have Chrono. There's no way you can take this as the Dire, I don't think. Void's going to have his buyback in a few gold here. He just bought a Moonshared as well. Damn. Which he can munch up if he gets the uh, Roche. That was what was on the Courier, I'm pretty sure, when uh, it got delivered and then it died. Oh, okay. I see. Well, it will be a Roche, and the Refresher Shard is available again. That'll be for DP almost assuredly. Oh, yeah. Tomato will take the go, Aegis. Have a cheese. He drops his boots. He's like, I, I'd rather have Moon Shards in their full capacity. Uh, that's my guy right there. I mean, he has the Time Walk talent, right? So he doesn't need the boots for a good Chrono, and he's going to do so much damage. I'm actually excited to see this. Man. No ward in the base. They're throwing down sentries from the Dire, trying to make sure. Yeah, you can see all over the place from Les. 25% backtrack now on Tomato. Weeha almost hitting level 25 right now. He could get a two-second cooldown on Shadow Wave. That seems ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but That's the weave's pretty way insane. better. The Weave I'm one sure. is like the old Aghanim Scepter, I think, right? Pretty amazing. Other than the range stuff. I think it changed the range as well back in the day. So you think it's definitely the Weave armor? I think so. I, I can't imagine. Like, Generally, you're hiding in a fight as Dazzle. I think you'd rather have that one-off ulti that you just pop, because you also know you're a big focus point. It's not like you're going to be able to cast non-stop mm -hmm. shadow waves. That's true. Who have we not checked for level 25 yet that has gotten it? I think we're good. I think we got everybody. Amazing. Is Dazzle's Agnum's one of the worst in the game? It's so situational. Now that it's like the AoE grave. It's horrible. It's not yeah. situational. It's just horrible. And no, it's situational. Oh, please. I mean, there's big wombo combo drafts where theoretically yeah. it is good against. That That's an Aghanim, or that's a an Alchemist Ags. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Like, you're like oh, in sick. no situation, cool. you're like, oh, I'm Dazzle. I think I will actually prioritize farm to get what if, an Aghanim Scepter. What if you're against Tidehunter, Earthshaker, Faceless Void, OD? There. Boom. Then you lose. You just lose. If you have to get Ags, you lose. All right, Rappel comes out, and there's the Weave. He is 25, and you're right. He did go for the armor per second. Let's see how much armor this guy's going to have. Wait, did he not pop it? All right, here's the Moonlight oh, Shadow. All right, here we go. The last stand still. here for final tribe. Haxorn pops the BKB, and it's all for naught, it seems. As now they're using these Mega Creeps to their advantage. Don't really have great wave clear. That's the problem. Like, there's no Maelstrom or anything like that on Era. No real lifesteal to come yeah, through. Yeah, that's true. He is hurting. He can't even kill them. They're destroying him. Yeah. Look at all these mischances. Butterfly saving his life right now. 
This is what the Crimson Guard was for the whole time. He has the double Megas. ult available to him right now. And it's hilarious Zelda's after all this, a 4K net worth lead. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny to look at. Exorcisms popped. Get that shrine. Or effigy, whatever the hell they're called now. All right, here comes the charge. Less Q gets off the enfeeble. There's a chronosphere onto one hero. It's the OD. OD. Is it enough? The GA is popped, though, to full effect on a lot of heroes. Tomato going to get stunned up here. No, he has, still has the repel on. It still has the Aegis, of course. This fight is looking next to impossible for Final Tribe. Exorcism still coming out, doing lots of damage. Still has a refresher shard in his backpack, and that Spirit Siphon going to work. Double kill for Tomato will finally drop, but that's just the Aegis. Can you kill him a second time? Hanskin attempting to get out. Will do so just barely. Oh, he's in the meantime, on. he's pretty low. There's a Sanity's Eclipse comes through. Does um, almost no damage to cancel, actually. Kezu gets the grave from Weeha. Gets the arrow on top of it, though. Are they actually going to defend this is the question. Death Prophet oh. trying to get out of here. Has a Spirit Siphon, but will finally fall. 120 seconds on the deck, but does have buyback. And with all these heroes going down for Final Tribe without buyback on themselves, you have to think that this is definitely over. They're going to jump one more time onto Centaur with the E-Blade, with the Exorcism. And GG's come out. This is just game one of this best of three. That was an amazing game. Excellent match. Uh, I think the Final Tribe played that so well throughout that mid game. It made Tomato feel so useless. To, you know, he, he built to fight with Chrono and everything, but they dodged very successfully. Uh, the only downside, and I guess the, the fall of Final Tribe, came because of the Roche fights. They never contested a single Roche. They gave them all away, and it was very key uh, for what Midterfeed needed to do. So, they, I mean, they did a great job with Midterfeed and, and able to secure them as well. It's a hard team to fight into, so it's understandable, but it feels like that was the, the kind of key thing. If Final Tribe were able to do that, they might be able to win this game. Man, that was, that was quite a hype match, I have to say. Yeah. Hopefully, Game 2 will be just as hype. Of course, this is the first series of the day after the best of one that we saw before this game. So game two will be coming up next, guys. Stay tuned. We shall return. Remember, silence is golden.